Joining us on the line now is the new UNCW men's basketball coach, Takeo Siddle. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the new opportunity here with the Seahawks, and uh, welcome back to the CAA. Thank you. I can't wait to get started. Coach, you spent time, like we said previously, at UNCW. What it, was it about the opening at UNCW that made you want to pursue it? You know, for me, this has always been a dream job, and I've always wanted to to be in Wilmington at UNCW, even as a player. Uh, I wasn't good enough as a player, but was able to come back and be an assistant for Kevin Keats for three years and um, always wanted to come back and, and be a part of Seahawk Nation. And Coach, obviously we're in an unprecedented situation right now with the pandemic. Uh, you know, I'm sure when you envisioned getting your first head coaching job, you'd be, you know, in front of you know, the Seahawk Nation and players and be able to kind of confront them in person. But it's a little different right now. How are you adjusting to that? And, and, and what has kind of been the challenges with this so far? You know, all of us are going through it. Um, not a lot of us are just getting a head coaching job and going through it. But we're getting through it as best as we can. I want to make sure that my players are safe. So the first thing I did when I got the job was contact them. I wanted to spend a couple hours on the phone just making sure they knew how excited I was to be their head coach and making sure that they were safe. Um, we're all going through it, like I said before, so we're doing as best as we can, trying to navigate through it with recruiting and all the other aspects of the job. So we're, so we're getting there. Speaking of other aspects of the job, how has this affected you in, in building a staff so far? It hasn't affected me. I pretty much have everybody that I want to hire in tech. Um, just trying to sift through it and making sure I'm staying in communication with those guys. and uh, It hasn't affected me much. Coach, what will it take for the Seahawks to reach the, the heights that they did when you were coaching there previously? I think it's important that we, uh, we take it one day at a time. And obviously we have to do the process of the day well. And that's going to be my biggest message to my team. We have to change their mentality and just doing the process of today well. And, you know, we're going to harp on that as a staff, and we're going to focus on it one day at a time. And, Coach, from an X's and O's standpoint, I know you don't want to give too much away, but what is your coaching style? Obviously, we're very familiar with run defend, and there's been, you know, little tidbits on social media about run defend part two now that you're back in UNCW. We definitely are going to run, defend, and, and win a lot. Uh, we can name it part two if you want to do that, but we're excited. You know, we're going to play an exciting brand of basketball. Offensively, we want to score a bunch of points, and we want to have a lot of versatility on both ends of the floor. Defensively, we want to pick up 94 feet and create chaos and use our defense to create offense for us. So you're going to see run, defend, win part two. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. All right, well, talk about some of the big influences in your coaching career thus far. Obviously, we know you've been under uh, Coach Keats for a while, who we're familiar with. Has impact as he had on you and also other uh, coaches that have had an impact as well. well. Coach Keats has been everything to me. He's been my greatest mentor. Uh, I met him back when I was 18 years old, and, you know, we had an instant connection, and we've uh, built a strong bond, and he's kind of guided me through my whole coaching career. Um, every, a lot of what I know and a lot of what I've learned comes from him. Uh, Chris Holtman has been a huge mentor for me as well, the head coach at Ohio State University. He's been huge for me. He, gave, he helped me build my foundation when I started off as a 21-year-old assistant coach. Uh, unproven, but he took a chance on me, and he taught me the ropes and, and helped me build a solid foundation. So those two guys have been great mentors for me. Coach, what is, what is your uh, recruiting style or your recruiting pitch when you uh, approach a potential student-athlete that will become the UNCW? Obviously, I'm going to sell the city. I'm going to sell our tradition of winning. I'm going to sell the university, our facilities. I'm going to sell the beach because I have to. Um, that's one of the uh, things that when you talk about Wilmington, people come there and it attracts tourists to come and, and go to the beach. So that's going to be some of my recruiting pitch, I'm going to talk about our style of play. We won a lot of games, 72 games to be exact, for three years when we dominated the league. So I'm going to talk about our style of play and scoring a lot of points, having a lot of freedom offensively. And, you know, I feel like I'm a player's coach and I, I'm going to build strong relationships with our guys and we're going to build a family atmosphere around our guys. 
So it's going to be a player's first program as well. So, um, you know, those are some of the things I'm going to talk about. I'm excited to get going. I'm excited to, to start this thing. And, I, you know, I'm itching. I'm chopping at the bit right now. Coach, you've talked about the winning in, in your previous tenure there with Coach Keats. Uh, just talk about how special that time frame was for you as a coach and, and what it will take for you guys, like you said, to kind of get back there and get back on track. You know, it was it was the best three years of my life. Uh, being able to – we won 72 and 28, so we didn't lose a lot of games. And the relationships that I built with the Wilmington community and uh, with the athletic department, the different coaches, and uh, I, I will always cherish those relationships and cherish my three years as an assistant coach here. Now, I mentioned it before, you know, I don't want to put too much pressure on our guys by looking ahead. Um, so – I want to shrink it down into small parts and talk about winning the day. Uh, you're going to hear me talk about that a lot. And that's going to class, um, participating in class. That's making sure that you're on time every single day, making sure that you get your meals and, and eat something healthy and making sure you do your uh, strength and conditioning, making sure you go to the training room, uh, making sure you get your extra work in. So those are the things that we're going to talk about, and that's all part of the process uh, that we'll follow of doing the day well. So that's going to be my biggest message, and I think if you do the process of today well, then the end result will be exactly what you want. All right. Well, Coach, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Uh, stay safe and healthy along with uh, you and your family and your team uh, through this time, and we look forward to seeing – the future of UNCW men's basketball run, defend, win, part two. Thank you for having me, Bob.